Hello everyone, it's your girl Leanna. Um, I apologize, I'm eating at the same time. I'm just trying to take care of everything at once. Um, this appears to be the only time that I can, um, you know, make my video today. I'm not sure. Looks like it's going to be a busy day. Um, and so, let's see here. So I want to talk about, um, you know, as you guys know, it's Sunday. It is Sunday, April 7th, I want to say, because two days ago I made that one video, and it was April 5th when I ran out of hormones. Um, anyways, I might start making, like, weird faces or something, because I'm eating <laughs> this weird hot sauce. I don't want to, like, dump on the computer. But that hot sauce is this right here. I don't know how to pronounce it. Sriracha hot chili sauce. And I don't know. It's it's a natural. Um, no. Yes, yeah, Sriracha. Sriracha chili sauce. Should I shake? But anyways, um, yeah, I'm having Popeyes with that. It's for breakfast. It's already um 11:33. And I just woke up. Um, today I want to talk about, you know, my voice might be, you know, my voice might be um, changing from feminine, from very feminine to a little masculine. I apologize. Um, okay. As you guys may know, I'm still practicing. Um, so today I want to talk about um, effects that I felt have been going on now um, with that hormone. Since I got off, since I ran out of hormones Friday, um, I'm not sure if you guys remember me saying that I brought my um, dose up to four milligrams a day, and then prior to you know the Sunday prior to last week, so this past week, um, the Sunday before that, I had to bring my dosage down to um, two milligrams once a day, and let me tell you the effects, the effects. I have been going on rampages. Um, I keep feeling like, you know, people are, like, I don't know. I feel like um, people are starting to bother me a lot. I think it's the chemical changes in my brain. Okay, for instance, um, like, I feel like my friends are talking behind my back or... I feel like things are going on, or, I don't know, I just feel like everything, like, I get so mad so fast, and it's starting to become a, a bother to me, because, um, when I first started on hormones, I was just so calm, and, and I did mention that I was, you know, my sister said I was a little more catty, um, but, you know, it's not, it's probably because, I feel like, you know, it's just, I'm reacting, I'm having stronger reactions to, um, you know, to how I would not norm, I would usually just be more quiet, and now I just start going, like, I get, feel like I'm more, more with, one with myself, so I'm more outspoken, I don't know, um, but let's see here, yeah, so that's definitely affecting my friendship, um, with my friends, um, of, of course, you guys know, I, they were supposed to be throwing a party for me, um, on the 27th, and I, 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 um, you know, I kind of said, no, um, you know, I don't want that to go down. Um, I don't want the party because one day we could, you know, all be in this, in this really tight friendship. And then the next day, you know, it just falls apart. And it's usually, I feel like, you know, I feel like it's them, but it's usually me. Um, and hopefully they see this video so they can understand where I'm coming from. So let me explain why have I've been acting up with those friends or with my friends. Um, okay, so um, if you, as you guys know, my crush. Okay, there's in friend in our little circle. I want to call it that, or my little circle. I'm not. I know they probably have a wider range of friends than I do. Um, well, in my little circle, it consists of me, a friend. Um, and I'm gonna be, I'm not gonna say any names, but I wanna specify. So it's me, a guy friend, um, 
than the girlfriend, the girl, girlfriend, as, or a female friend, there we go, my female friend, and there's another female friend, and there's that crush guy friend, so, so, you know, it's me, that guy friend, the female friend, the other female friend, and the guy friend, the crush, so one of the female friends is the one that he likes. The other one has a boyfriend, so she's not really much included or involved in this. Um, but as you guys know in my other videos, um, he asked her out. My the guy, my guy crush asked the friend that's single out, and you know she's apparently more into girls, is what she tells us and what she told him. And he ran, he took that and ran with it. Um, then next thing you know, you know he accepted it, and then. I felt like I was starting to like him. So I'm one of those type of people that usually, you know, just carry everything within me. Or I would make it so where, because I've been hurt before um, in this type of situation. Me liking someone and them not liking me back. So, you know, knowing my, my mechanism to help, you know, protect myself from being hurt emotionally um, is... You know, pushing that, you know, just giving my time away, giving my time, giving myself time away from that crush that I'm having because it starts becoming more of an um, of unhealthy friendship. Um, so apparently, uh, you know, he, I told him how I felt after she told him that she didn't feel the same about him. And, um, you know, he told me, well, I like her. And I completely understand, you know, you can't make someone um, like you. It's just how it is. And um, so, you know, I, I completely understand. Um, but, you know, that doesn't erase my feelings. I just, you know, it's just not going to happen. That's just how it works. You know, you can't just say, oh, I don't want to like him anymore. No. So my mechanism was, you know, kind of push people away um, and, you know, it's unhealthy, I guess, but it's a way to protect myself emotionally. Um, and I told him that, and I was really specific. Um, you know, I poured my heart out to him, and it didn't end up the way, you know, I, I wished it did, which it's life. But anyways, um, you know, when this happened, I went, I told them, I told the friends, the other friends, the other two girls and the guy friend, you know, and even the, I told one of, and one of those two girls was the one that he likes. Um, you know, I told them, and then she was like, aw, you know, but I don't like him, you know, we're just friends, yada, yada, yada. And then, a few days after that, um, I go ahead and do his eyebrows, and this was last week, I think it was Friday, I do his eyebrows, because he, um, because the guy, my, the guy friend, the crush, um, had court. So, you know, I was like, hey, you know, if you want me to do your eyebrows, I can. So I, I you know, I went to his house, I did his eyebrows, and apparently um, he asked his his crush, the girl he likes, um, you know, to give him a ride to court because it was in term, it was um, because vehicle issues. I can't be really specific, but so, you know, so I guess, so I was cool with that, you know, I can't get in the way, you know, life goes on. But, you know, deep down, jealousy is, you know, boiling. And I'm like, well, you know, I wish it was me, but I can't do anything about it. And no, and so, you know, after, after my friend, his crush, knowing that, um, you know, I like him and how I feel, she decides to go ahead and, um, and... She decides to go ahead and, and um, you know, I guess his, he, he messaged me. He sent me a message on Facebook before I blocked him. And I'll tell you guys a little bit more. He sent me a message on Facebook telling me, um, hey, you know, it got canceled. I was like, okay. You know, and I just, that's, that's what I said. I said, aw, okay, um, you know. And then, you know, we were supposed to go to a soccer game that night after he got out of court. But, um... But then, okay, the soccer game was at 6, is what we planned for. So, 5 o'clock came around, and, you know, I was messaging them, messaging them, nor my crush, nor my friend that he likes, 
were nowhere to be found. They were, you know, ignoring our um, our Facebook. Um, we had a group session with all of us, and we were like, hey, you know, answer us, answer us. And none of them responded. Um, so that right there was just top. Of, I felt like that was, like, that just right there, it triggered my um, reactions. I was full of jealousy. Um, but, you know, I can't, I can't say, I can't beat someone up or I can't, um, you know, cut someone out just because they don't like me back and I'm really jealous. It's just not how it works. I'd rather, you know, just, I'd rather just, you know, kind of get away for a second because it's hurting. Um, so they, you know, 520 came around and it, the game was at six and we still had to pick up other friends. The game was at six and, um, you know, me and the other two. The guy friend and the other girlfriend that has a boyfriend already. Um, we were in the, you know, we were in the conversation since those other two were not, you know, the crush and his crush were not to be, were nowhere to be found. Um, we were like, okay, well, you know, um, let's just wait for their response to see if we're going to go at six or not. Because, you know, we were all, we all had to get ready. And I laid down conditions. I said, okay, well, um, you know, I'm going to hop, it's 520. I'm going to hop in the shower for 10 minutes. And when I get out, you know, I hope I, I better get a response or I'm just instead of putting on the outfit that I was going to wear my jersey for the team that I was going for, which is Mexico, by the way, because it was Mexico versus Notre Dame. Um, you know, and instead of wearing, um, you know, the jersey from the team that I want that I wanted um, to root for, I'm just going to put on like, uh, um, you know, a muscle shirt with my bra under and just, you know, regular homewear, little booty shorts. And, you know, and once I do that, you guys are not going to talk me out of changing. One, because I'm already changed, and that's kind of rude that, you know, you decided to do that. Kind of, it's kind of a way of telling, I felt like it was a way of telling me, you know, we don't want you to go anyway. So we're not going to tell you to last minute after you told us, you know, when you get out the shower, hopefully there's a response at least saying, yes, we're going to go at six, they'll be ready or, you know, but I didn't get any of that. And so I got out the shower and no responses from, you know, from them. So I was like, okay. Okay. And, I, you know, this was a group conversation on Facebook, a group message. So I said, okay, well, you know what? I'm just going to put on my regular clothes, my, um, <clears throat> excuse me, my booty shorts and my, um, and my tank top. And then <laughs> out of nowhere, I'm already, I'm a, I was trying to make the, um, uh, makeup tutorial that I wanted to, um, sorry, but I didn't see. Um, I wanted to make a makeup tutorial you know, for someone, for one of my followers, um, you know, for, for our weekend. So like a, kind of like a nightclub. I apologize, I don't mean to be mm, talking while I'm eating. Eating while I'm talking. But I'm really hungry. Um, and you know, so I was going to start, I was already starting this video, but I, apparently they laughed, so I got in my comfortable clothes. And then I get a message saying, oh, hurry up, we're outside, hurry up, come on, hurry, we're outside, waiting, and I go out there, and it's that friend of mine, the girl, that he, that my crush likes, and my crush in her passenger seat, and prior to, that I forget to add, that when I got out the shower, I checked the messages, and there was, you know how you could send a little, um, you know how you can send little, like, on Facebook, um, through Facebook Messenger? There's, like, you can send little voice clips instead of, like, instead of messages. Well, they were sending us voice clips of gunshots. I, apparently, he took her out to the shooting range. <sighs> so, I went out there, and I said, hey, I'm not going. I'm not even dressed, and I told you guys, let me know. And she was like, no, hurry up, get changed. <laughs> Do you not see that... I just told you to tell me, and on top of that, my jealousy is inside, and you know, make some emotions. Let's make some emotions, and plus, I'm on hormones. So he's in the passenger seat, and she's her car is my house. Okay, this is my house, and apparently, you know, we're in America, so the cars park right up against the curb. So, and of course, this side of the car that was close to my house, um, it was the passenger seat because she was facing this way. Um, and she was on the other side, so she was roll she was rolling out, she was yelling out of his window through, um, you know, she was like the driver, so she was kind of ducking through the window, and he was a passenger, you know, and he was just like in the middle of, of like, you know, her telling me to get ready, and I'm me telling her, you know, I'm not going, she's like, come on, get ready, and then he, you know, 
sometime before we finish that little, um, you know, the sequence of back and forth, he, he said, oh, why not? Are you kidding me? Did you just ask me why not? Okay, you see what I'm wearing, you see what I said. I'm not sure if you haven't checked the meshes or if she hasn't checked them, but sweetie, you just like, that was a, that was an utter t way of telling me, you know, we can go without you. So I felt like she was trying to rub it in, but then again, you know, and then she was, she was like, well, why not? I said, and then after he yelled that, she said, yeah, why not? I said, I'll just tell you later, you guys go ahead. And I wanted to come in here and cry. And I actually did, you know, sprinkle a few tears. Um, but on top of that, um, you know, there was a situation where my friend that, the, um, my cru the friend that my crush likes, his crush, um, she had a crush on one of our, all of our friends. It was a different set of group, but, you know, they used to play soccer, and she was my friend, too. And I stopped talking to this girl because she turned down my friend. And, I, you know, I, I stood by my friends down, you know, I stood by her side, um, you know, 100%, um, you know, the time. And I even cut connections with that person because I can almost feel how it must feel. And that girl would set her up and split her up. And I feel like that's what was happening. Um, but, you know, I didn't. But she wanted me to continue talking to him and to her and for it to all be fine. Knowing that, you know, she knew that I liked him, but she still went ahead and did that. And then out of everything, out of all of this, the crazy part is she told me it was the April Fool joke. That her, that my crush and her were hanging out. But the thing is that she had just told me, hey, we're April Fooling um, our other friend. But you just told me. And then her excuse was that they April Fooled me. You don't do that. And then so I didn't go. So apparently when I didn't go, I just stayed home. I stayed home. I was kind of hurt. Oh, no, I went to have coffee with the guy friend, the other guy friend. Um, we went to a, a we actually, where did we go? We went, we went to get some hot chocolate. Or no, we went to dinner. Went to dinner at Hula Hands. And I've never been there, and neither did he, and it was awesome. But we just ended up going to dinner, because he's sick. And so I said, hey, we need to do something. He wants to do something chill, and he's back, so let's go to dinner. While they're all out there having fun. So when they were at the soccer game, apparently, after the, the you know, the game, um, I came home, I dropped my friend off, the guy friend, and then we came back, I came back home. And then um, I checked, you know, my messages through the Wi-Fi. And there is um, apparently, you know, a movie sound. And then my guy friend adds on that on that group conversation and says, oh, they're at the movies. And now she's, you know, I just said, that's it. You know, don't do that. It kind of, it hit me, like, it hit me and it hurt. Um, I just felt, I don't know, I felt some type of betrayal. And people are just saying it's your hormones, but, you know, only I know what I'm feeling. Um... It's just not fair. Like, I usually don't crush, and when I do, I crush hard, and I hate it. Um, but I try to save myself from that. And so, sorry if my voice is everywhere. <laughs> um, and so, apparently, you know, I stopped, res I deleted my friend, the girl, his crush, and I deleted my crush. Um, just to protect myself from the Facebook posts and the tags. And it's kind of childish, but I just do it, you know to protect myself. I don't want to be emotionally hurt anymore. So I deleted them both so I don't have to see, you know, pictures and stuff that they might have taken or tags because it feels like every time I see something, you know, from like that, it's like a slap in the face. Um, so yeah, that's just what has been going on, my crazy life. And hopefully, you know, this is a way people understand, like, it's not just the hormones, it's things that just trigger those. Um, and I'm hopefully going to get my hormones this following week. I apologize for, like, venting or something, but it's just, I need something to vent to or someone to vent to, and I, I don't have that. Um, and I feel like when I leave for college, it's really going to be one of my biggest barriers, but I'm actually um, already talking to people um, in the area of my college, so, and guys, like, I have this guy who wants to um, show, he said he wanted to show me around town, because we have, like, a school app for our phone. And you get to know people, you know, incoming, other incoming freshmen and things, and, or, you know, upperclassmen are already there. And, you know, they just, they, they like make, it's like kind of like a Facebook um, slash um, Twitter because you post like a meetup. 
And then, um, you know, it's kind of like an event. And then people say, you know, going, not going, or maybe. And, um, and you know, you can make hangout, you know, hangout. You can have hangout sessions. And this guy, um, you know, he's, I guess he's a native. He's already an alumni school of business, I think, at the university where I'm going. And he, <clears throat> excuse me, and he was like, well, you know, I want to show you around town. We have beautiful country here. Um, I guess it's like around the country. So I'm, I'm, I'm excited. He said he's, he's told all his horses because I told him I wanted to ride horses. Uh, but he said, um, he was like, uh, I sold mine, but I have a large pony you can ride. I was like, let me find out. <laughs> that, I just took that two ways. But I'm already starting to meet people there. Um, I can't wait to get there. And hopefully, you know, it serves as, it's not the, the only purpose and it's not the main purpose, but I hope it serves as a diversion um, between me and drama and things. Um, though I know college is full with all that and it's just it's up to you I was telling myself that college is like the Hunger game you have to make with what you have and you have to give it your all and you have only a few come out winning that's how I, I said it I'm gonna make a video about that <laughs> so um yeah I'm gonna get I'm gonna get back to my food um because I am hungry and I just want to fill you guys in and tell you guys a little bit of my situation of what I'm going through so hopefully by this week I get my hormones, um, hopefully by Wednesday, so I can at least update you guys, you know, because I don't want, like, I don't know, I don't want these to, like, shrink, you know, just be careful of that. All right, well, everyone take care. See you guys. Bye.